This video is sponsored by Train World, America's discount model train store since 1968. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're designing a building to 3D print. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you are eligible for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. Those guys are amazing. To give me a few products to give away to you guys, you can check those out in the video to enter in the description below as well as right up here. And speaking of Train World, they are located in the New York City metro area, so please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. We're thinking about you guys up there. So I did a poll on my community tab on my YouTube channel asking what kind of building would you guys want me to design? I said a fast food restaurant, a modern gas station, or a oil and tire center. And I'm going to design all three of those, but I wanted to figure out which one I wanted to start with. And you guys voted and it was close, but the fast food restaurant won out as the first one that I was going to design. So let's go ahead and hop into Tinkercad and design that fast food restaurant. I began the process by looking at Google images of various different fast food restaurants just so I can get a general idea. I'm not going to be modeling any specific fast food restaurant, but I am going to be basing my design off of kind of an amalgamation. I then hopped into Tinkercad and began designing. Now, I will not be going through a full step-by-step -step process because it took me nearly an hour of doing this modeling to get to the point where I was ready to print. So what I did here was I basically took a block and made it the proper size and everything that would fit on my printer. I then went and added the little sides for the drive through window as well as some other things. Now you'll see me using these little hole cubes and rectangles to be able to cut out the windows. That's how I cut out windows in Tinkercad. I did the same thing with all the doors and everything. And I also went around and added some other flat rectangles so that I could have various different little edges and outcroppings, just little embellishments. So once I had the roof outlined, I began to do some of the nice things, including doing this semicircle right here as the front. It's just something that I see on a lot of buildings, and I made little columns to go on the side of it, and I matched it in place, and I put one on the front and one on the back. I then began building window frames. What I did was I shaped out cubes and hollowed them out using whole cubes. I then brought in a pre-patterned brick texture, which is something that I made a while ago, and it's very helpful for doing brick, because brick can be very tedious to make. So I make one of these, and then I downloaded it, and then I can turn it into a hole and carve out brick foundations or entire brick sides. So what you see me doing here is making enough of the brick stencils to be able to carve out the entire brick foundation of the building. Now it's just a brick facade, but a lot of modern fast food places have a modern brick look to them. So that's what I'm doing here. Now one thing to note is I do all of my measurements in millimeters. This is just easier with a 3D printer since the entire thing is based off of millimeters. And what I basically do is I look up what the sizes of different stories and heights and all that and then I build off of that and convert everything over into millimeters using a few basic mathematical equations. I then proceed to create the doors by carving them out with whole cubes and I'm going for that majority glass door with a little handle in it right there using a semicircle. I then duplicate them and put them on the other side. Once I've done that I do duplicates of all the window frames and I'm able to size them up and line them up evenly. I then make a solid door with a door handle for the back, which is the access place for staff. Now it's time to work on the drive through window. I made a little bar at the top with this bar for the sliding glass window right there. Next, it's time for a few little roof details. I decided to put one little main air conditioner right here. And then I create a few vents for the kitchen area. Now, I'm not basing this off anything, I'm basically going on what looks good. The last thing I did was take a few cubes and put them together to make the drive through menu sign. This was nothing too incredibly detailed, but I can always put some decals on it later. 
and then load it into my slicer. In this case, I'm using Chitu Box, which is a free slicer that works really well for the Anycubic Photon, but it also works for the Elegoo Mars and other printers as well. I then add both of the models to the print base and work on my settings for supports of any kind and then I go to start slicing. Once I've sliced the file, it tells me all the details I need to know for printing the model itself. I can then take a look at each layer and what will be shown on the LCD screen. And I can go ahead and save it. The printer we're going to be using is an AnyCubic Photon. It's a recent purchase of mine, an upgrade from my longer orange tin, and I absolutely love it. It is absolutely fantastic. I start by shaking up my resin. I'm using Elegoo Translucent Resin, and I go ahead and pour it into the vat, making sure that I have enough to get the print done. I then go into the menu and select my print file, and press play to begin printing. The build plate goes into the resin and begins printing. You can see how the build plate slowly raises and lowers. That's allowing resin to come back in after each layer has been cured. And a few hours later, I've got a building. All right, you guys ready to see this? Here is the 3D print. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is the roof looks a little different than what the rest of the building looks like. And that's because this is actually not the original 3D print. This is one after several prototypes. Um, it took me a few tries to get one that I was somewhat satisfied with. And what I basically found out is that I don't need to print the roof with it. It causes a lot of issues with resin and makes a print a lot more likely to fail. So what I did was I made a roof insert based off of the roof. I just cut out the roof, made the roof insert, and I printed it up on my FDM 3D printer. And it just drops in and snaps in just like that. It's, it's perfectly fitted. You don't have to cut any styrene, anything like that. It's actually got some roof details on it. Um, but I'm not, I'm probably not going to have those on there, uh, for the final version, just because you guys will want to do some detail of your own. So, but this is still not the final version. It's got, um, a few more issues that I have to work out. Um, and I've been doing a lot of prototyping. I'll give you a shot of all the prototypes that I've done. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a lot. But one thing that I have been working on is I have been working on a set of buildings um, that all relatively match a style of like a downtown. And um, we'll start off here. This is one that I'm actually, this is the second building I designed, so I call it Building 2, but this is probably going to be the first one that goes on sale right here. Um, it's very, very, it's not very big at all. I can actually print two of these at a time on my Anycubic Photon, but this is designed to just be a little bitty building, like a little tiny shop with an apartment over it. That's it. Um, and just like the uh, fast food restaurant, it's got the drop-in roof, as you can see. So that's going to be the first building that goes up for sale, more than likely. Then I'll go ahead and show you guys. You guys have actually already seen building one. Building one, this is actually a version that has a roof, and I can show you why I don't print roofs. It has an issue of bubbling and warping and not printing properly. So that's building one. And then building three is a five-story building that can be an office building. It can be a bank. It can be an apartment building. Um, these buildings are pretty open out there. And it's got the, I haven't printed a roof for it, but it has the roof insert holders right there. And then building four is this long building you can see it has the it's got all the windows for a storefront and then offices or apartments above it um, it also has um, a wraparound lip 
and it's still got some issues with the print. I have to fix it up a little bit. It's got some issues with um, warping right on the edges and I have to sure it up a little bit, but this is building four. Now, buildings five and six, I actually haven't had a chance to print because I've had an issue with my 3D printer. So that's it for today, guys. We're gonna be probably designing buildings starting once a month for now. Um, if you guys really like it, we may do it more. But once a month building design, I'll be asking you guys what you want me to design. And then hopefully it's something that I can 3D print and put on sale or put the models out there so you guys can modify them for yourselves. So that's kind of my plan for all of this. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like the next time I design a building. All right, everybody, stay safe out there. I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.